Rebel Wilson has been making us laugh for years in smash hit movies like Bridesmaids and Pitch Perfect. Now the actress is sharing the stories behind those projects along with her own very personal journey in her revealing new memoir. It's called Rebel Rising. Hi. Hi, Rebel. Hi. How, it's good Hi. We're so happy you. you're here. Um, yeah. This is a book sometimes start off as I'm going to be revelatory and I'm going to tell all my stuff. And some books start off with a narrow focus. Like, I think I'm going to walk, I'm going to talk about this part of my journey. Weight loss was something you wanted to talk about, but it sort of expanded into this is your life, kind of. Yeah, that's right. So the original idea was I got a lot of attention for losing weight in 2020. Um, and the book publisher said, oh, do you want to write a book about that? Um, and then as I started writing, a lot, a lot to do with my emotional eating was to do with what happened in my life mm. and the emotions associated and emotions I was holding on to. And so I started writing different things like about my father or sexuality mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. stuff. And then uh, the editor's like, oh, this stuff's really good as well. So we turned it, what was going to just be about weight and my relationship with food into just a, a memoir of the first four decades of my life. Mm. One of the things that you write about and that, that you've said is that you got more attention for losing weight than for any mm -hmm. of the roles, for who you are really yeah, as a person. It's crazy. And I get it because as someone, you know, I used to watch like when Oprah <laughs> yeah. did her weight loss mm -hmm. specials and I was like, oh, how'd she <laughs> yeah. do it? Yeah, yeah, totally. So I totally get the fascination with it. But, yeah, it was strange in, in 2020 uh, when I lost, you know, yeah. like 70, 80 pounds that I got, yeah, got so much attention more than my and roles. Movies. I mean, you really, when you go into something, you go in hard. I feel like oh, yeah. you had like your year of love where you went hard that, and then you had your year of health. Mm -hmm. You don't just go in part way. You work out two and a half hours a day. <laughs> you eat straight protein mm -hmm. and a little bit. Like when you go into something, you dive in. And did that like fix the problem, I guess, for you? Well, I guess with health, because um, I'm an emotional eater, so like whenever yeah. there's a, lots of stress or mm -hmm. or I'm overwhelmed or something, uh, so I don't think I'm ever totally fixed. Like now, like having a baby and then just directing a movie and being in charge of like hundreds of people. Wow. Uh, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh geez, like stressful. And let's eat, go to the ice cream again. Yeah. Like food's yeah. obviously my coping. Sure. Um, do you have to catch mechanism? yourself? Uh, and tr do you ever well, try or I no? think it's just like about managing it. So I don't think I'll ever yeah. like be free of it mm. in a sense, but I've just managed it more and learned how to like manage my emotions mm -hmm. uh, better, which is tough. It's like dwelling a lot into the past. And you kind of talk about being a pleaser. That's kind of one of your themes throughout. It seems like you want to make this one happy and that one happy and you want to make yeah. sure that there's, you know, and that's a that's a tough place to live in, quite frankly. You can't live there long. Yeah, um, I know. I think I definitely have people pleasing aspects of my personality. Has and that then you're changed? Like, uh, well, now I'm a bit freaked out because, like, obviously, when you write your truth, not everybody's going to be happy with it. Totally. So uh, does that feel freeing in some ways? Yeah, in a one ways, you just got to be like, screw it. Who cares? Uh, yeah. This is what happened. I'm I'm writing it down, and I guess the older you get, as well as a woman, mm -hmm. you tend to care less. I think. I still care a bit, yeah. like, yeah, you, you care less. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we were sort of just talking about it, and to that point, I feel like when I was reading your book over the weekend, there were a lot of times where people would say, no, like, don't choose your health. Don't lose weight because you won't get as many roles. Or, right. I mean, even I'm sure in writing this, I'm sure you had advice like, oh, no, you can't say that about him. Don't include that. Don't include yeah. him Sasha because, Cohen. yeah. Right. Thank you. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, I've often gone against the grain and done what people have said not to do. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm authentic to myself. Well, exactly. So when, when pretty much everyone said, oh, don't lose weight and become healthier because you've got this great pigeonhole uh, and you could make millions of dollars in that. But I thought, no, you know what? I want to start a family. Being healthier is better for my fertility. And I'm going to do it even though literally everybody said. But even just becoming an actress, everybody said, no, no, no. Like, you're going to become a lawyer like, you go down that academic path. Mm. Nobody thought I could be like the next Nicole Kidman or whatever. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't really look like that. And so um, I did, again, well, I went against what everybody said. What about those kind of roles now? I mean, you know, you've, we know that you can play the funny because you're amazing <laughs> at it. But have you thought about diving in the pool and saying, you know what, consider me? Because I think I'd be good at that. Uh, yeah, like, I've, I think it's kind of opened up. I've got a more... Options. different opportunities yeah. and yeah. like and i've got a movie coming out in uk cinemas that's fully dramatic about traumatic brain injury oh wow um and then i played lady capulet in a movie that'll come out this year like the mother of julian <laughs> so oh, wow. Like, wow yeah uh so i've started doing like some different that's kind really of roles but i always love 
doing comedy. Of course. I mean, and so I've got a big tennis comedy uh, mm -hmm. to film later this year. Because you're so mm -hmm. very funny. Yes. Uh, um, I think one of the things that's so awesome about this is that mm -hmm. you were true to yourself. Mm -hmm. You wrote your truth. You've stood in your truth. And one of the things you wrote about that we actually talked about last week on the show was mm -hmm. when you chose to lose your virginity. Yeah. And we were so proud of Which I wish it was an <laughs> April Fool's joke. <laughs> But it's not. It's it, not. Yeah. You should but, let people who haven't read it. You yeah. were 35 years old. Yeah. And you kind of kept that as your secret. Literally, you didn't want to tell anybody. Like you didn't tell uh, no, friends. Nobody, nobody knew that about me. And, and I just thought, if I'm going to write a memoir, I'm just going to put everything in it. And then so the first person was the editor of the book, Mindy. And I was like, oh, geez, now one person knows, you know. Uh, and then slowly a few more. What more were you embarrassed knew. about? Like, what, why were you? Well, now the headline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, um, I, I guess I'd seen that movie, 40 Year Old Virgin. <laughs> yeah. And I thought, well, maybe if I lose my virginity before 40, <laughs> it won't be that bad. Um, but more just the stigma, yeah. I guess, associated yeah. with it. But then on the other hand, I'm. I'm so glad that I lost my virginity on my term, you know, mm -hmm. and I mean, I was more than ready <laughs> by that <laughs> age. Um, but, you know, there was like some good things about it. Like I didn't have STDs <laughs> in college, you know, like, so there were some some good things about it. But I guess it's just to make people out there yes. uh, not feel alone. And there's, there's a lot mm -hmm. of people have been writing to me on social media saying they were also late bloomers. I think it also mm -hmm. just teaches, you know, us that like you're the chooser. Like, yeah. Women are choosers. They don't yeah. need to be peer pressured into things and they you don't, don't want to do. Young people don't need to be like feel pressure to be sexualized yeah. at, at yeah. a young age. Well, yeah, and, when you're ready. You know. That's it. Yeah. All right. Well, we've got more to talk about because you have a great love in your life, including a baby. Yeah. We have so much to talk about. We'll have more right after this. We are back with actress Rebel, Rebel Wilson. Her memoir, Rebel Rising, comes out tomorrow. It is already making headlines, and it is a beautiful, brave book that I know a lot of people will Oh, read. indeed, indeed. So, first of all, congratulations. You're engaged. Oh, yeah, thank you. It was so early this morning, I forgot to wear my ring. Oh. Uh, but, yes. And then, how, <laughs> how did way, you and your future wife meet? Uh, we met through a mutual friend who hooked us up um, via text. Yes. And then we started texting and then talking on the phone. It was very old-fashioned, and then I thought, oh. I've got to fly to meet uh, this wonderful lady. Yeah. And then we got engaged at Disneyland. How cute. Um, on I Valentine's Day. Are, are you a Disney person or a she? I, I am. I yeah. am a, like a Disney adult or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> are y'all going to get married yeah. at Disney World? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> that's it. That's, there, that's, that's probably enough uh, Disney. Are y'all planning the wedding? I know you have a lot of career yeah. stuff well, happening. this year's been insane. I mean, not only with the book, but um, I've just been directing a movie. Mm -hmm. And so I've got a few more months in post-production on that. So probably next year, I think. <laughs> okay. um, in addition to all that, you have a beautiful, nearly 17-month-old baby. Yes, um, baby So Royce. sweet. And oh, oh my boy. God. So was cute. that Easter just this week? That yeah. was last Easter, last actually. Easter. Yeah. Oh, she's, my God, I can't. Now. She's the most adorable little thing, and she's just learned how to do dancing. Uh, and I say, racy dance, and she goes, <laughs> oh, like this. Oh, my gosh. And then, so, you know, it's just every day right now is, she's is saying something new. like what you imagined or...? It's much, much harder yeah. than what I ever thought. Yes. Like, I thought I'm in a privileged situation, and it is just, it's so hard. And then, but also the love you feel mm. for your child is so, yeah. like, it's just unlimited. Like, I just, um, she's mm. the cutest thing. She melts my heart every time she goes, Mama, and points to me. If she's watching on TV now, she might be pointing. Oh, going, going, Mama. Mama. Um, and she just, oh, she's just the most gorgeous, mm. miracle baby. Mm. Do you feel mm. like having her has, has helped you kind of heal? And you write a lot about your dad mm -hmm. um, and sort of the hard relationship you had with him. Has that helped you heal any of those past things that, hurt i well i think it's just makes me want to be a better parent mm. and be my father had um a lot of emotional issues and mm. would get very angry at times and so that i think forced me to try to address mm -hmm. uh, like my emotions better even though i could have maybe done it earlier but so that hopefully i'm a better parent mm -hmm. um for royce mm. um but yeah it's definitely something i was very conscious of because of my father and some our strained people, relationship yeah. some people when a parent passes felt they feel like i missed my opportunity to make amends but you didn't 
Well, <sighs> you kind of made amends. Um, we no were, way. you were definitely making amends, yeah. Um, and so there's a lot of sadness there that, like, I didn't quite fully, you know, reconnect, but we, there were definitely, you know, on that path. And so that was really good. And I love that he got to see, like, the first Pitch Perfect movie mm -hmm. and how successful that was. And mm -hmm. uh, he was very encouraging of... Uh, mm -hmm. me being an actress, mm -hmm. um, which was great. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about these movies, Bridesmaids. Yeah. Yep. Do you have, are you, are those, first of all, you have this <laughs> hilarious video you sent us. <laughs> yeah. I know you were really close with those girls. Tell oh, us. Oh, okay. Uh, so I think they're pictures from when Kristen Wiig took us on a girls' night. Oh, pictures. Oh, there it is, like oh, the wild God. night. We Where was on. this? Look how crazy uh, you are. <laughs> it was at a... Uh, I guess you'd say strip establishment. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Hollywood I, men. Oh, uh, yeah, I see. Uh, and so these are like, this is back in the day. I think well, I took look these at on these a real camera. On the but car I took these. On the, like a... Yeah, and, and these are, that's our wild night at Hollywood men. Mm -hmm. um, Hollywood Kristen men. Kristen Wig could not have been, I was probably the most junior person on that set, and she could not have been kinder and more uh, in, including of me in my first ever American film. Oh um, Pitch Perfect is another biggie. Do you think that we will see Pitch Perfect 4? Oh, I hope so. Yeah. All of us girls, whenever we're talking, we all want to do one. We're like, it's time. It's time. Yeah. I don't know what is, what's, what is. What are we waiting on? I don't know, Universal Who can Studio. we talk to? Oh, Universal Studio. Yeah. Yeah. We have an in. Come oh, on, like, let's go. On. Get the Bellas back together. But I just did an action movie with Anna Camp, who plays Audrey yes. in, in yeah. the film. And so that was great to play besties with her. Um, and yeah, but yeah, I mean, we obviously we always want four. Yeah, yeah. Four is a perfect symmetric Worries. number. It's yeah, it's time. Yeah, Rebel, We're ready. Rebel. We love you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Um, uh, Rebel's memoir. It's called Rebel Rising. Comes out tomorrow. You can pre-order it at today.com/books. Yeah, wherever you, you get your books, get it today, y'all. Thank you, Rebel.